They say actions speak louder than words, but for star athletes like Hiroki Kuroda and Manny Ramirez, they need this man to help them find the right words to communicate. Kenji Nomura is the only trilingual interpreter in Major League Baseball, speaking fluently in Japanese, English, and Spanish. And although he grew up with a love of baseball, he never dreamed he would make it to the big leagues. Well, I played at um, you know little, little league in, in Japan, and uh, because of my father's business, I had you know we had to, we all had to move down here uh, to Los Angeles when I was 11. And uh, you know I didn't speak in English, but I spoke baseball. And yeah, yeah and it's kind of a universal language, isn't it? It is. It is. It's a, you know it's a it's a huge catalyst, yeah. and uh, you know that sort of uh, uh, brought me into the American culture, and uh, you know just got to know a lot of uh, uh, my teammates and. Uh, you know, start con uh, conversing with them, and the baseball term is pretty much international everywhere. So, you know, it helped me out. Now, okay. Now, how hard was it for you to learn English? Very hard. Uh, you know, <laughs> they say when you're young, you know, it's uh, they pick it up quickly. But it, I think it took me four years, three or four years. And what about, and for what about Spanish? Was that easier than English? I had a Mexican girlfriend, so <laughs> you had some help there then. Oh yes, yeah, from her family, yeah. Well, either I was going back to school, I wanted to get into a PhD program in linguistics in UCLA, and uh, I also, you know, I sent in my resume uh, to the Dodgers, and uh, I said, you know, whichever calls me first, and it was the Dodgers, so I picked it. Now, do you remember your first day here? Yes, I do. Actually, it was too overwhelming. Uh, you know, I mean, I used to come to the stadium and watch a game with my dad in the '80s, and you know, obviously Rick Honeycutt was a star back then. I mean, he's a great, you know, he's a star here now, but he's a great guy. And I just, you know, working with him on a daily basis because I was interpreter for Saito and Kuroda, so I worked with him every day. And just, you know, being within the same uh, atmosphere, you know, with him was just great. Yeah. Part Kenji's duties include assisting the English-speaking media who need translation after the game. What I do uh, with the media, just probably a fraction of what I do, you know, it's probably 90% goes on during the locker room in, in the clubhouse, uh, from player to player uh, or coach to the player. So, you know, that's that's pretty much that's pretty easy for me. You know, that that's kind of the stuff that we don't see. Talk a little bit about that. What you do from the the point of view of you're in the locker room with the guys, and especially when somebody comes in, like even when Sa Saito first came in or Kuroda, and they didn't really know anyone. They can't just go up to someone and be like, "Hey, dude, how you doing?" <laughs> so they have you, and, and then what goes on from there? Well, you know, I feel like I'm helping myself 25 years ago because, you know, when I first came to this country, I didn't speak a word of English. Okay. So, you know, in a way, I understand what they don't know and what they want to know. So uh, it's really easy. Uh, you know, I'm just I, I look back in the past and, you know, uh, just, you know, what what do I need in this situation? I just put myself in, the, in their shoes and uh, I just go on from there. Even Manny Ramirez talks candidly about how much he depends on Kenji. I know Kenji like for two for two years now, and uh, he's a great guy. He's a great person. You know, he's a guy that um, he always you know translate for me, Rafi, and and Bailey. You know, and Monso, the Spanish guy. He's awesome. He always there for us. You know, and now that he do his job so good, but. Um, he also got a good heart. He does. Now, I know that he also interprets for us, for the, the Japanese players as well. Has he taught you things to say to them in Japanese? Um, not, not, not really, you know, because um, most of the time we talk to them in English. So. Okay. But um, like I said, you know, Kenji's awesome, you know. We're happy to have him in the club, you know. He has Corora and a bunch of Japanese guys that are in the team, and we love him. You can see how important Kenji's services as a translator are to many of the Dodger players in the locker room, but for one player in particular, it went a whole lot further than just communicating. You got to be very good friends with him. He was even best man at your wedding. Yes, he was, you know. He was one of the first that I asked if he wanted to be, he said yes, and I was glad for him. What kind of a, how, how did you get to be such good friends with him right away? It's like more than family, you know. The, we come from different country, and we come here, and we find people like Kenji who can speak English, Japanese, and also the Spanish is better than my Spanish. It's awesome. How helpful is that for you coming into a locker room where guys speak lots of languages, English predominantly? How 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 much does that help you to have him there? A lot, you know. I think that that's the reason why we we want to learn it always. Learning something different doesn't matter if we learn a new word from Japan or Chinese, you know, that, that keeps us close like a teammate. Former 
Dodger closer Takashi Saito reflects fondly on how Kenji helped him fit in with his teammates. When Kenji was your interpreter, you came from the same time, the same, you had things in common, um, whether it be music or things like that. How long did it take you to be friends with him? To so I feel that I was able to have a good relation with him pretty quickly, but uh, I don't know how he feels about it. But <laughs> he, the good thing about him was he was able to speak Spanish as well as English and Japanese. So in terms of being a translator, he was a very, very uh, good translator. What was it like to come into a locker room where you don't speak the language and you, you have to rely on somebody else? It, it, what does that feel like from your perspective? Well, at first I thought I could get by with uh, just very little English and uh, hand gestures, but I realized I couldn't get by with that. So during spring training, my first year, there were times when I did get lonely. But uh, the players I'm playing for the Dodgers right now, they they would speak to me, and um, I was very thankful that thankful for that experience. From time to time, Kenji even teaches some of the English-speaking players a little Japanese, which doesn't always go as planned. I think this was in 08 uh, during spring training. Russell asked me to tell him a joke in Japanese. I said, why? And he said, you know, he wants to make Kuroda relax at the, uh, on the mound. I said, well, that's, that's really nice. But I told him the joke. It was too long, so he couldn't remember. So I just taught him the word to relax, you know, relax in Japanese, which is ochitsuite. And he wrote on the piece of paper and put it in his back pocket. And I think it was the first game that Kuroda pitched. And, uh, you know, he was in a jam in the sixth inning, and uh, Russell went up to the mound, and he took out a piece of paper, he read it, and instead of saying, ochitsuite, which means to relax, he said, chichitsuite, and that, that means poke my nipples. <laughs> and that got Kroda laughing. <laughs> so he did it, you know, rather than tell him a joke, I mean, you know, that, that it worked. pretty much was the joke. Yeah, yeah it worked. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't remember when it was. I remember something like that happened. Um, you know, he just told me to go out there and say something ridiculous, yeah. and he, he kind of laughed a little bit and chuckled, and then we went back about our business, but, uh, yeah, they could tell me to say whatever, I wouldn't have, have no idea. You know? that, was, that was my question, was, it, was did Crota laugh when you said it? I think he was more like, like, he wasn't sure, like, what I said, he's like, does he even know what he's saying? I don't know what's going on. More than just a translator, Kenji's a member of the Los Angeles Dodgers, and something else we found out about Kenji from Manny. He, he also could dance too, so... He's a good dancer too! He's a good dancer too. Manny told us that Kenji's a good dancer, is that right? Yeah, he was he was dancing in my wedding. He didn't drink, so he's a good dancer. Manny Ramirez just told us that Kenji was also a very good dancer. Kenji, <laughs> 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 Well, I know he's good at a lot of things. I mean, he's uh, he teaches Spanish, and um, but I, I never knew that he was a good dancer. <laughs> so Manny told us that Kenji's a good dancer. Have you experienced this? I know I've not experienced it. Okay. I've never seen it. But uh, what does he, he dance? Is he like uh, I don't know classic ballroom dancing, <laughs> or sure. like does he break dance? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he's going on Dancing with the Stars, but <laughs> I don't know. I'd like to see it though. Okay. <laughs> In a business where communicating is crucial. Kenji Nomura is at the top of his game. From the locker room to baseball fields all over the world, Kenji is there to make sure his teammates are all on the same page. He helped us in, in everything, not, not just about the game, the baseball, but always when we are outside playing the role, that we want to go eat somewhere, he know all the place or he finds something good for us. and. He got everything for us. We don't think about things like that. Yeah, I'm sure if you needed something at a store or whatever, he would be the one that would help you. Again. Yeah, he's there. He's there for everything. Maria Soreo for RPV TV Sports.